to another video and uh breaking news we have ios 12 uh, 1.1 it is now officially released to the public and the beta testers can update it now if you are leaving a beta or not whatever you depend but ios 12.1.1 is out and i'm going to read off the specs of what they have and also a few other details here and there if we have any news so let's read it off so first thing first iOS 12.1.1 rolled out today. It is not only for iOS, but it's f but they also have a series of updates for Mac OS and TV OS. Now there is nothing for Watch OS at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so Apple Watches, I believe, will be excluded from this list. Now looking at the specs from the iPhone charts, it says here the notifications. This is mostly for iPhone 10s, 10s Max users, uh, and a few iPad things here and there. But the main emphasis are here: dual SIM support with eSIM. Will be working for additional carriers for the iPhone 10R, 10S, 10S Max. Uh, that you have now a one tap to flip between the rear and front camera during a FaceTime call, which is very beneficial because now you just press it once and boom, you can flip the camera. It is much easier than having to go up and make it that crap. Then they bring back live photos captured during a one to one FaceTime call, which is a nice little feature. You know, you always want to get the little cute moments here and there. Uh, a lot of people say it's not a big thing, but you also think it's always nice if Apple brings it back. Um, then you have the option to hide the slider bar on the iPad with landscape mode and also notification previews using haptic touch are now supported on iPhone XR. Now a bunch of rest are also some bug fixes and stuff, but uh, let's jump to the tvOS updating system. So Apple's uh, tvOS 12.1.1 is also again bug, fi bug fixes and security enhancements as well as Mac OS is just a bug fix enhancements they're saying however that um fi uh, watch os 5.1.2 may be coming which it probably will be out by the time this video comes out and they're saying that the ekg uh well functionality on the apple watch series 4 will be uh shared to your iphone with ios 12.1.1 so we're gonna see that as well now the updates have just hit the servers and mac os the update will be found in the system preference you guys know how to find it but that is the uh the broad idea of what these updates are now the main feature for the iphone is for the 10r 10s 10s max because as you can see these updates are made specifically for them but also these other phones like the 10 and everything else can also carry over you get some features in there now I do like the fact that they're bringing back the live photos capture and the uh, the flip button on the <clears throat> on the FaceTime call those are very cool things if you're on FaceTime with a friend you want to do something but other than that well, I will be doing a speed test as usual on the iPads and I will also uh, update the home pods if the home pods have any updates uh, we'll check them out I'll make sure everything's up to date so that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching like comment subscribe go update now if you haven't already uh, thanks for watching and peace okay before the video actually starts there is a update for home pods uh, I was just doing the updates I checked it and there is iOS 12.1.1 updates for the home pods uh, there are very minimal changes but this is what they include in the home pod updates supports for China and Hong Kong, and also HomePod LEDs will illuminate during a group FaceTime call. That means I guess you can now transfer the group FaceTime audio over to the HomePod and the light will illuminate, so knowing that you're in a group. So HomePods are updating, um, <clears throat> iPhone is prepared, currently updating, everything is currently getting ready to update, iPads are on its way. Uh, I'll be doing speed tests on the iPhone and the two iPads. Uh, Mac OS, I am going to check right now because I just want to do this while I'm here because I know you guys will probably be saying, oh, you didn't do anything. Well, I'm going to do them now. <laughs> uh, checking for updates, and it looks like uh, for Watch OS, it is still loading. So while we do that, let us see for Mac OS. Um, I believe there are some updates. I think everything's going to get an update. And yes, macOS does have an update. This is update macOS 12.14. It adds in all those features like before, but it resolves any issues with iTunes. And it's mostly a bug fix issue. So yeah, there is an update for macOS. So macOS, iPhone, uh, HomePods, Apple TV, and Apple Watch are all getting updates right now. Uh, the Apple Watch Series 4 is mainly, is mainly for that, but it also carries along as well. So that's going to do it. So let's uh, let's get going. So I just wanted to make that update. There are updates to everything. So thanks for watching and peace. And also make sure you update your devices. No, I, I, I can't